This man bun makes me look like a certain someone I don't like. I take it off, but honestly, I'm vibing with it, and I don't really want to... I showered, so my hair looks horrible. I can't style it right now, so... It's gonna have to stay like this for now. Uh, anyways, um, I'm back. I was gone for three days. Tenderly, too. Because I'm back. But it doesn't matter. You don't, you don't give a shit. Um, yes, it was Mick's birthday on Star Wars Day. I did draw, but I didn't want to download the video. I, I got too lazy, so that footage is gone. But I did draw Mick. You'll, I'll show you later. Um, I have a bunch of videos about Evil Dead. A lot of Evil Dead videos are coming. Um, it's crazy how many Evil Dead videos I'm making, but, you know, first those monkeys, which come back for them, and now it's Evil Dead, because there are a lot of things to talk about with Evil Dead, because I've seen Evil Dead rise, and I watched the Thrifty Typewriters video on all the Evil Dead movies. He said he might watch Ash vs. Evil Dead, which I hope he does, because his video on the Evil Dead franchise as a whole was super good, and, um... I watched it live, so I got to talk with him in chat. He's a pretty cool guy. I recommend you subscribe to him. Here, look, the Thirsty Typewriter. This is him. And if you want to watch his video, it's this video. I'll leave a link down below. I'll link his channel and the video down below and all that stuff. But the reason why we're talking about horror right now is because I made a video about The Conjuring getting another movie and Insidious getting another movie. And that video, it got me views. So it got me thinking, well, we need to make another video about Conjuring and not Insidious because I don't want to watch Insidious right now. I can't handle it, man. Patrick Wilson's too hot. <laughs> Anyways, what I have in my hands is all of the Conjuring movies in chronological order because, uh, believe it or not, there's lore. There's lore. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Conjuring movies are based on real events. These things did happen, and whether we want to believe it or not, they're pretty spooky. Uh, so we're gonna find out how to watch all the movies in order, and at the end, I'm gonna show you how to do it, like I did for Evil Dead. And, um, you're going to sit there, and you're gonna be like, oh, great notes, Amy. Thank you very much. And I'm gonna be like, you're welcome. Now subscribe. Are you subscribed? You should be. Subscribe. Now... Now, despite The Nun being the fifth movie in the Conjuring franchise, it's actually the first movie you have to watch first in the chronologicalness of it and stuff like that. Because it, you know, connects with Conjuring 2, you need to watch The Nun first so then you can watch, uh... Annabelle Creation. I don't know. Okay, it's a little bit hard to connect here. But, um... It's the fourth installment to the Conjuring franchise, but also the second installment to the Annabelle trilogy. But it's the second movie you watch in order. So we have The Nun and then Annabelle Creation. After Annabelle Creation, we have Annabelle, which, all right, I don't know who the hell would buy that, bro. And um, it's the second installment in the Conjuring universe. And third and first in the Annabelle well, no, it's the third chronological in this timeline. So we have The Nun, Annabelle Creation, Annabelle. And then for The Conjuring Universe, it's the second installment. For the Annabelle trilogy, it's the first movie. And it's a prequel which catches, which catches up everyone about, you know, freaking Annabelle and stuff like that. So we have The Nun, Annabelle Creation, Annabelle. And then, of course, we have The Conjuring, which, in my opinion, is my favorite movie of all time. And I don't know if you knew this, but um, the mom in the movie... Uh, it wasn't Dogfight with, with River Phoenix, so I don't know if any of you knew that. So, yeah. Um, first installment in the Conjuring universe, but for the watching in order, it's the fourth movie. None, Annabelle Creation, Annabelle the Conjuring, and then after um, The Conjuring, you have to watch Annabelle Comes Home, because while it is the seventh installment in the universe and the fifth in the, you know, timeline, and the third entry in the Annabelle trilogy, it is, you know, all about um, the Warrens' daughter, Judy, and takes place one year after Conjuring, so there's that. So we have The Nun, Annabelle Creation, Annabelle, The Conjuring, and then Annabelle Comes Home. What we have next, of course, is, oh, okay, this one, um, okay, so about this movie, um, I'm not gonna say that loud. I'm not sure if you want to count this in the, um, thing. You can... But, like, I don't think you should. While it is six chronologically, you don't have to watch that one if you don't want to. If you don't think it connects with the universe just because, you know, it, stuff like that. So, 
So I would say after watching Annabelle yeah, Comes Home, watch Conjuring 2 if you don't want to watch that movie. And then after Conjuring 2, you watch, of course, the third movie, which is The Devil Made Me Do It. And then after that, um, you'd have to watch the um, newest movie that, that comes out, which is, of course, you know, um, The Last Rite. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to put that up on screen. Uh, you watch... Here's okay, but here's the movies in order when they were released. So, The Conjuring came out in 2013, Annabelle in 2014, the second movie for Conjuring in 2016, Annabelle Creation in 2017, The Nun in 2018, The Curse of 2019, um, Annabelle Comes Home 2019, and then, of course, Devil Made Me Do It 2021. Of course, though, um, we have to watch these in order. How else are we supposed to, you know, watch the movies to get ready for Conjuring, you know, 4 and stuff like that? Like, come on, guys, come on, yeah, come on.